Welcome everyone to Day Trading Virtual Academy. So this lecture is going to be around 30 minutes. I will explain everything you need to know about trading future contracts, specifically uh, E-mini and E-micro future contracts. So this lecture is going to be for everyone, actually. If you are new, brand new, beginner, for you know how what trading is, what is the future contract is, or even if you have any background of trading, let's say forex trading, or stock trading, swing, or whatever, this will explain what is the future contract trading is, what's the benefit is, and how we can start. So first, what is Day Trading Virtual Academy? We are an academy, like virtual academy actually, it's a line academy, teaching day trading for future contracts. So we are teaching our strategy. So if you are a trader, you should know what strategy is, like the, the point when you enter or exit, this is strategy. So we are teaching our winning strategy. So before I go ahead and I'm explaining what is the what is the trading, what is the e mini or e micro, what's a future contract, let me say first who I am. Okay, my name is Walid, um, and I am Canadian Egyptians, and I, I I left actually Egypt like maybe uh, 15 years ago. I start my career as IT. I work IT for like almost like uh, six seven years, and I was getting a minimum wage. Actually, when I started in Canada, it was like 15 or 16 bucks an hour. And then I would start raising to 20 bucks an hour. And uh, I was struggling, to be honest. Like, I want to make more money. I want to have my own business. So I started drop shipping. If you guys know familiar with drop shipping, I started all of things. You know what I mean? All of them were successful for me, but I was always trying to find that thing would, would make me on fire every morning. When I wake up in the morning, I want to make money. I want to be happy. Then I, I, I found future contracts trading. So I start, uh, I took online courses for future trading and I start trading and I found myself like um, kind of talented in this thing. So um, I start making money. So now I'm making, I, I have like a challenge, maybe like, a, like, like six months ago, I turned 500 bucks into $55,000 in three months, which is my challenge. Everyone can do that. I started with five hundred dollars in my account, and it was, it was like uh, I just, just checked it like maybe two weeks ago. It was like fifty-five thousand dollars from five hundred in three months. This is crazy, but this is true. This is true. Anyone can do that, not only me. Okay, so before we go, first, what does the future contract mean? What is the future contracts? But before I explain what the future contract is, let me explain for. The brand new ones who doesn't know even trading is trading is you are bidding against someone else like if you heard about stock trading forex trading what's what does that mean means it means is let's say you have a stock the stock cost ten dollars per share right so this guy who owned the stock which is ten dollars per share he go to the market which is let's say nasdaq or new york exchange whatever and he said, okay, I want to sell my stock for 12 bucks, not 10. So he is asking to sell his share for 12 bucks. And someone else came. He said, okay, I want to buy stock for 12 bucks, the same price. So he is offering, he is bidding actually to buy a stock for 12 bucks. So they're not going to happen. The guy who's going to sell with 12 bucks, he will sell his share to the guy who want to buy the same stock for 12 bucks. So what happened then? The price goes from 10 bucks to 12 bucks. And this operation is going on and on and on every single second. For each thing you trade on, if you trade on future contracts, this thing, if you do stocks, forex, options, uh, commodities, anything you trade, same thing. It's just supply and demand. Supply and demand. Actually, let me explain. One second. Let me explain this before we go. I want to explain something here. Okay. What's going on here? <laughs> okay. Okay. So, trading is someone bidding someone asking if you if you let's let's, let's just take a break for a second and visualize there is a, a room 
and there is a 10 people sitting in this room, 10 people, right? This 10 people, each one of them has a piece of paper. This piece of paper equal nothing. It's just a piece of paper, you know what I mean? But one of them, he decided, okay, this my piece of paper, I will sell it for $1. Why? Because he, he said so. It doesn't matter. He wanted to sell it for $1. Okay? And the 10 people had the same piece of paper. But one of them said, okay, I want to sell my piece of paper for $1. Okay? What about it? As a guy, he said, okay, I, want, I will buy your, your, your piece of paper for $1. dollar. I give it to me. Then this piece of paper initially was zero. It was zero amount, right? It has, it has no cost. It has no value. Now, when someone offers to buy this stock or bid for $1 dollar, this piece of paper now has value of one dollar. So the, this guy now owns two pieces of paper equal each one of them equal one dollar, which is two dollars, right? Then what happened? The other eight people sitting around, he said, "Oh my God, this guy win! He has two papers now with two dollars. You know what? I will. I want to buy from you one piece of paper for two dollars because I want to buy more. I want to have them." And he said, "You know what?" No, I will sell you the piece of paper for two dollars and a half. Are you okay with that? And the guy said, okay, I'm okay. So the, the guy who owns two, sell one of them to the other guy with two dollars and a half. Now, what's the price for the paper? What's the final, what's the, the final price? It's 2.5 dollars, right? So it goes from initially zero to 2.5 dollars in a second. Because, because of what? Because of two people asking, one peop one ask and one offer. That says that's that's the trading. So if you trading stock, say it's the same thing. Stock is a company. It's like co a company goes public. If you guys know familiar about stocks, it's like, it's like a normal company. Let's say you have a restaurant now, and this restaurant uh, is doing so good, and you wanna you wanna have more money to invest and open a new branches and stuff stuff like that. So what happened is. You go public. What do you mean go public? A company come to you, big company, come to you, come to you and said, okay, I will give you a million dollars in your hand, okay? And I will take 40% your, from your branch, of your company, 40%. And then I will make this 40%, let's say five, like let's say, I'm, I'm, not, I'm just saying million shares. Let's say one share cost uh, $1, let's say. Oh, yeah, $1, let's say. Million shares, every share called, uh, cost one dollar, and I will take this million shares and go bought the shares on the exchange. What exchange is? It is like supermarket. You gotta go buy stocks and sell stocks. It's like a supermarket, but just for stocks. There's a lot of exchange in specific in, US, in USA. The most famous one is Nasdaq. Another one is in your exchange. So this this stocks cost one dollar. Go to the exchange with the initial price was one dollar. It's called IBOs. And then it's go trading from them. So what happened is with this 1 million shares, this big company, which you give the, the guy or the, the restaurant $1 million, it takes this 1 million shares and goes to the big banks and big uh, companies and big clients, give them a lot of shares. Like you know, this like a relationship between them because they know when the, when the stock comes out, which is called IPO price, it always go up. Will never go down. So if you buy a stock, it's one dollar IBO. Oh, you can make millions. Let's say, let's imagine now when Amazon comes out in public, uh, how much money the people got the IBO, which is a very initial stock. How much money they make? If the stock was one dollar, now it's almost like, I guess nine hundred dollars for a stock. Imagine how many, how many, how many, how much money they make. This is the same. So these people take this stock. Let's say A and B and C. A take five, I mean, like let's say 600 stocks. B takes like 500 stocks. C like take like 60, 100, five stocks, whatever. And do you go to the exchange and start selling and bidding on the stock? And you people, and because of this, this exchange, do you will announce to the people who's trading in the exchange there is a new stock coming out? Please be aware of it. So people, because they know that a new stock comes out, so they know when they buy it. Now you will say it high later. 
So and they didn't and you know now, okay, this stock is one dollar. So we'll start bidding it. Okay, I'm gonna buy this stock for now. Give me, I wanna buy it for three dollars. So the other people start selling for three dollars. So now the price is three dollars. And then people say, okay, another five dollars, and the nice price is four I'm, I'm like that. This is the trading of the stocks. Same with Forex. Same with Forex. Forex is exchange the price between the buy and sell on the exchange between USD, Canadian dollars, Euro, USD, whatever. So people asking to buy like USD from Canadian dollars, other people want to sell it. So the buyer more than the sellers, then the price go up. Sellers more than the buyers, price go down. Supply and demand, the same. It's, it's a genius idea, to be honest. Genius idea. So what is the future contract? We know stocks, new forex. What is the future contract? So in Chicago, I guess, like I'm, I'm not sure, but like 200 years ago, the people like, they are very smart, man. They are so smart. They think about, okay, so people are trading on, on stocks. So what's a stock is? It's nothing, just a piece of paper, right? Why don't make our own piece of paper and start trading on it? So what does it mean? They said, okay, so some people have future contracts. Why you are not trading on this future, future contracts? So what's future contract is? Future contract is a contract between a buyer and seller to buy or sell specific good on a specific price on a specific time. What does it mean? Okay, let's say there is um, air, uh, airplane company, whatever, which is, this is happening all the time. Do you want to buy a fuel, which is, it should be every, you know, an airplane take a lot of fuel. But you know, the price of fuel is always fluctuating. It's always go ups and downs, always. So when, do you want to buy two years ahead? But because you know, the price of fuel is going always up or down, you don't know, but maybe it's go up, it might go up. So they said, okay, so they go to the fuel company. Okay, I will buy from you, let's say 1 million gallon or whatever, 1 million gallon, okay? And I will take this 1 million gallon one year from now with the price, let's say $5 per gallon. They put the fixed price. And the fuel company, they said, okay, you know what? It's okay. Because they said, okay, maybe after one year, the price goes down to two. So now at least I have a contract, I can sell my fuel with five. So they protect themselves from the fluctuation of the price. This is future contracts. And this happening everywhere, not on the fuel, everywhere, the, especially the commodities, everywhere like oil and rice and you know everything, everywhere that's a future contract. Same future contracts happen in stocks. Let's say now you have a stock for Amazon. It costs ten dollars. Let's say I'm, I'm just saying, and I'm telling you now, I will buy your stock, which is ten dollars, but I will buy it from you. Five months from now, with ten dollars, or six dollars, let's say, this feature contract between me and you, and this is like you know, if you if we agreed, in this specific date after two months from now, this stock would be mine, and it will take six dollars, even if the stock went to five hundred dollars, I will take it from you with six dollars. That's it. If you agreed, I agree. That's that's a contract. So S and P. So before you go in S and P, whatever and indexes. So this Chicago exchange. Do you think? Do you, do you think? Okay, there's a lot of future contracts out there. A lot of them. For everywhere, there's a future. Contract. Why would we don't take this future contract and put them in the market and people start bidding on them? How you be bidding on the future contracts? How are you bidding on something that you don't owe? If 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 the if there's a contract between a few uh, a company and another company for the specific anything, it happened after three months, and I go bid on this contract, I'm not I'm not owning this this contract. This between two come how I come I'm trading on it. It's just virtual. If you let's say it's a contract called EB, this contract between two companies, right, and then this contract, the exchange, make it like, okay, if you want to buy this contract, you have to sell it by the end of the contract. Let's say this contract long for three months between two companies. So which means you have only have to trade this contract only for three months. And the initial price is $1. So take this contract now for $1 and trade on it. If someone asks you to buy, the, to buy, the, to, 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 if someone else 
want to buy the same contract, it's up to you. You want to sell it for $2, for $5, for $1 million, it's up to you. It's a trade. So this is what happened. So starting from the perspective of, so the price goes ups and downs, the perspective of the initial contract, like if the contract is for the oil, let's say, it's a few future contracts for the oil. So people buying oil, future contract for the oil. So that if, the, if the oil price goes up, the oil price goes up, that means the future contracts oil will go up because they know more people win, more people want to buy these future contracts because they think the future contract, the, the oil price will go high because more people, more companies, they want to do another future contract, with another company because they scale the oil price will go higher and higher. So what if you go short now? And they start buying future contract for the oil. And then the price contract for the oil is still going up with the future contracts. So the exchange in, in the Chicago, they trade on all the future contracts you can imagine. Everything, everything. So this is the future contract trading. This is a very complex, very complicated, if you know the concept, but I'm, I'm going to make it like easy now. I will explain everything in the course, but future contracts is like you trading a piece of paper you don't owe you don't own at all, but the price for it fluctuates depends on the initial or the, the initial uh, thing on the, on the contract. So what what is what happens? So before you go now, like I said, this this lecture about S and P five hundred future contracts. So what's the S and P five hundred? S and P five hundred. It's the index. It's a U.S. stock market index. What is the index? We talk about exchange, exchange like a supermarket, like New York Exchange, NASDAQ. There's a place, all the all the stocks go there on the shelf. People go, come, come, sell and buy this future contracts. Like it's a, it's a like yeah, supermarket. Index, it's like the easy way to categorize the the, the stocks. So a lot of famous uh, index in USA is most of the most of the famous one, S P five hundred and Dow Jones. S P five hundred is the most and biggest 500 companies in the U.S. market. You can find there, if you find Facebook, you find Google, you find all of big companies, it's, it's a big founder. It's just, just like an index. Index. So this 500 company, all the stocks for this 500 company trading on the same S&P 500. So let's so. If the all the stocks for the SRB, if you guys watching CNBC news or whatever any news or stocks you see, okay, <clears throat> SMB 500 index is going up for six points, it's going down two points. What does that mean? That means is overall for this 500 stocks, the price goes up or goes down. And by the way, they always say SMB 500 is the index for the US economy. So if S and P five hundred price goes up or like get higher, it means it's the stronger stronger economy. If it goes down, weaker economy because this is like the most five hundred biggest five hundred company in the USA market. So what 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 now? What happened now? Because the S and P five hundred stocks, there is a contract between these stocks with the five hundred stocks. Someone want to buy this stock. This price, I'm gonna buy the stock with this price. It's a future contract. So it's a, we're again we're gonna have now S and P 500 future contracts, and we're gonna make it. We're gonna exchange. What did the exchange, which is in Chicago, for the, this exchange only for future contracts, and then we're gonna start bidding or start uh, trading on this S and P 500 future contracts. So you got when you go trade on S and P 500 contract, you're gonna buy future contract, which is most likely uh, long for three months. It's always like January and then March and then June and like that. It's always three months. And then you go buy this contract or sell. I'm going to talk about short now or maybe after five minutes. Buy this this contract. Let's say for ten dollars. It's not ten dollars. It's like it's too much amount. I'm higher than that. But you buy for. But I will explain <clears throat> how everything works now. You buy for ten dollars and. For and then you have a strategy, and then you have the technical analysis. You see the price go up, and then you sell it for twenty dollars after ten minutes, or one hour, and you out and you make hundred bucks for one hour, whatever, maybe like thousand. 
That's a, that, that's that's a concept of future contracts. It's a, specifically S and P five hundred. So how much how much this S and P five hundred co uh, contract cost? This is a good question because and this is the thing makes trading in future contracts way 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 easier than stocks. Why? Because in stocks. If you want to buy like Amazon stock, I, I don't know Amazon how, how much in Amazon today, but it's like I think it's like uh, I guess nine hundred, maybe something like that. So if you want to buy stock for Amazon and sell it it's the same day, day trading, and the price goes five dollars, I mean, if if the, by the way, if the stock price goes five dollars in a day, that's a big move. That's like a huge move. Usually it goes one one two dollars, not, not not all the time, but like this is normal, like one dollars two dollars five dollars. So if you want to buy like 10 stocks and goes like one dollar so you gain ten dollars a day what is that that's nothing you know what i mean nothing so when you want to make money if you want to make money from stock trading you have to have a big money because you want to have like a, sh a share a what thousand share like because the price go one dollar you're gonna make one thousand dollars in a day like, like sh just like that so in the future contract they said okay here's what's gonna happen so you want to i they said the exchange we want a people <clears throat> who doesn't have a budget to trade on us with us right so here is what happened they said okay the price the price for the contract is how many points on this s p index multiplied by 50. what does it mean if you look on the S and P five hundred index, you will see okay, S and P five hundred now is let's say I'm gonna actually I'm gonna grab it from here one second. One second. If you look at here, you will see this is the S&P 500 index. And you'll see now this is the S&P 500 points. It's now 3,868. This is life, you know what I mean? It's changing. So this 3868.08, this is not a dollar amount. This is not. This is a point. It is a point, right? What me, What's a point mean? Point, it's like, because we know that S&P 500 is the... Uh, mirror, mirror of the stocks in this S and P five hundred index, five hundred stocks. So whenever any price from this stocks goes up, it might go one point, two points. How much this point? How much this point cost? Right. So when they first initiated the future contract, they said, "Okay, how are you gonna how are you gonna calculate this? We're gonna because you wanna make sure the price for the future contract is already." Related to the price or the points of the S&P 500. So they said, okay, we got to have the price of the contract, S&P E-mini, which is the E-mini future contract. It's going to be this point multiplied by 50, which means the contract costs $50. So what does it mean? I'm going to show you now. It does mean, one second. This contract, 3870.26 multiplied by $50. So this contract actually value of $193,513,000. Oh my, this is too much, right? So does it mean I have to, if, if I buy one contract now, I have to pay $130,000 to buy a contract? No. No. So what is it then? Now it comes the margin. If you guys, if one of you guys familiar with the stock with the forex market, you know what margin is. So what's the margin is? Okay. Now we just mentioned if you want to buy one contract, you have to pay one hundred ninety three dollars, right? But you want people to trade. You want people like me and you. When I mean, uh, we're going to have $197. If you don't have it, how it's going to be risky to try. Even if you have it, 
you're not gonna risk 100 needles of just one trade. It's too, too risky, right? We said, okay, <clears throat> we're gonna make something called merger. What's merger? They said, okay. I will let this contract, let's say five hundred dollars. Okay, so the broker, because when you trade future contracts or stocks, whatever you trade through broker, I will explain what broker is. But we trade through broker. So the broker said, "Okay, I will let you trade this future contract, but you have to pay me five hundred. You have not me pay me. You have to put five hundred dollars." Five hundred dollars on the shelf when you trade one contract, and then what happened? Then what happened? Let's say now the future contract S&P 500 is three hundred eighty-seven point eighty, and you go long with this trade because you think okay it's gonna go up, and then it goes up to three hundred eighty-seven. Point uh, three hundred eighty-seven, three eight seven zero, and then three eight seven two, point eighty, which means goes up two points. Two points. How much is this two points? It's it's fixed in the in many future contracts. One point, one point. I will explain everything in the, in, I will explain everything in details, but this is just a uh, description. One point equal equal fifty dollars in the many. So. Two points that mean is you win, you gain a hundred dollars. So what happened then? When you buy this future contract with this price, and you pay only five hundred, the only hold you have to have only five hundred, and the broker will pay the rest from the contract value. And you said the contract value is one hundred ninety three. So minus five hundred. Now, you pay 500, the broker will pay 193.03, and the trade will go. And then, as long as you make money, the trade, the trade is going well. Because now, if you sell it now with two points, everybody's happy. You win $100, now we have $600. But actually, they will take they will take uh, like uh, commission from you. So let's say they, took, they take like $5 commission, and you... You already make 100, so you're gonna make like now your, your account now equal uh, this on 100. Yeah, this is called like 95. So your account now is 595. That's good. And then what happened when you sell it? Because when you buy this price, you sell it this price. So when you sell it this price, what happened? The broker take his money back. You take your your 95 bucks uh, after commission. Everybody's happy. But what if the price goes down? What if the price goes down? What if the price, like from what from from two points, goes down to three points down? Which means we said like point is fifty dollars. So which means is you lost one hundred fifty dollars. You still okay? You know why? Because you still have five hundred here. So it's okay. He will still borrow you money for the next trade. It's okay. You have three hundred fifty bucks. It's okay. No problem. It's okay. What if you lost the other trade uh, five points? Let's say five points fifty two hundred fifty. So now you have how much you have now in account one hundred, and you get another trade, another trade. You only allow only allow to lose two points. After the two points, if you lost two points. The trade will close automatically. It's called margin call because you already they cannot put you money on this trade because it's your, your money is gone. So after two points, you'll go. You are. So, so this is up and down. So trading a future contract is tricky, but it's if you if you know what you're doing, which is. I, I know what I'm doing. I have a lot of I make a lot of money for future contracts. I know what I'm doing. I have a good strategy, proven strategy. I've been using this for years, and it is makes me makes me a lot of money. The good news about future contracts, they now make another thing called e micro future contracts, which is beautiful. If you look at the S&P 500, and you type in micro futures or micro contracts.
So what they did now, they said, okay. Because if you want to trade, if you want to trade 500, one second. If you want to trade the one contract with 500 bucks in your bank account, that's too much. You know why? Because like I said, the price fluctuate. So you, you might in one trade, uh, I'm, we're going to talk about how to trade and stop lose and everything is this covered everything, but the price fluctuates. So it might, it might like go like six points and then go up again, 10 points. But if you go, it went down six points, which mean it might, you might have a, 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 a merchant call within the first trade because you know what I mean? The price goes ups and down very fast, very fast. So you have to be secured. So in order to trade a many future contracts, which is like you have to have 500 bucks to trade one contract, you need at least $10,000 in your bank account, man, to be safe, to trade like normal people. And this still $10,000 is too much for, other, for a lot of people. So you wanna, so do you think, okay, we want to invite anyone to trade? Then they make this genius idea, which is the micro future contract. What is a micro future contract? They said, okay, you know what? This contract is not gonna equal again when he said when, when you when you said before we take this 193. No, sorry, the price for the index, which is like I think 180, uh sorry, three thousand uh, I guess like three eight seven, I guess point two five, let's say I'm, I'm not sure. Instead of multiplying to fifty, no, just five. So it's now it's 19,936. And then instead of you have to pay $500 to trade one contract, it's going to be just $50. And the point in the, in the e-mini future contract, the point equal $50. I'm going to talk about text in the course, but in the points equal $50. And the e-mini in the micro, the points equal $5. So every time the price go up one point, you gain five dollars. Goes down one dollars, you, you lose five dollars. So it's like way, way safe, way safe. So if you have like five hundred dollars, which is like most 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 of brokers trading e micro, you already you can open account with like as like four hundred bucks. You can start trading with four hundred bucks, no problem. Because you know, point is what is five dollars. So if you if you gonna trade and you lost two what two points, you lost ten dollars from the five hundred. Still have a room, man. You get next trade, gain them back. So I always, always, anyone new to the future trading, always I already argue them to trade with micro. But that's 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 what I'm gonna talk about now. One second. We talked about the uh, Emini and Emicro. How much money do I need to start trading? If you want to start trading. I'm going to talk about now what's, what a starting trading is because my approach, because to be honest, like I lost a lot of money when I started trading because I didn't know what I'm doing. You know I mean? I, I, I learned with, the, with a big lesson for me, with a lot of money. So that's why I, I always, always, any, every, all my students, everyone, everyone joined TDV Academy, I always say, I'm the one who tell you how to trade. So we have a demo account. You're going to sign up with a demo account. Like it's called like, like fake money or paper trading. You have fake fake money, demo account, like this one here. I'm gonna show you now. One second. So this now, this is our platform, which is not our platform. That's the broker we use. When we, which one do you, you are we using too? Right. So let's say I'm gonna show you now. This is the demo account. So they give you like a hundred thousand dollars. Or something in your account, which is not this, it's not a money, but you trade like a real money. And then you start learning. So, how this process of learning with us is going to go up? How is it going to work? Be honest. Be honest, like I, I, was, I, I was going, like, this is my course. I was going, okay, you guys come in. I have access to my to my site and start uh, practicing. Take all. I have like, I have like two big modules, basics and then intermediate. So 
yeah, start going chapters. Every one of them has like videos and have like lectures. You just go and then trade and then and then when you've done this, you have to practice for three months for demo account and then you start trading and and I, and then I realize like eighty percent of them, eighty percent lost money. Why? Because there is no coaching. There is no co nobody tell them what to do. Nobody tell them if they are doing good or doing bad. So now. I did a new approach, which is being, which like now very successful with my students. It's like one-to-one -one coaching. So what's gonna happen now? When you start, when you join me, first you're gonna have access to this the website, and then each chapter from this chapters, starting from chapter three, because this is like the, this is just the beginning, just the introduction. Starting from chapter number three, you're not gonna move on to chapter four until you send me the homework assigned to chapter three. So each chapter from this one, you cannot go to chapter four until I, I, I already mark chapter three and I said, you okay to go chapter four and so on. You can go chapter five until you finish chapter four and give me the, send me the homework. It's gonna be like, it's gonna be most likely screenshots for chart and everything. I will assign a homework. Send it back to me, one of my teams and we will mark it. We'll get back to you with a video explaining what's your what's your weakness what you to do if you pass the chapter you have to maybe have to redo it again because you have to make sure you on the right track and actually starting from chapter um starting from chapter nine all this from from chapter one to chapter uh actually chapter eight it's just uh, very basic you know i mean it's just ch charting and you know i mean drawing the chart and stuff starting from chapter Eight, nine, actually, you will start doing simulation trading, which means I need each one of my students to spend at least two hours of the morning from 9.30 to 11.30 Eastern time, which this is the time for the market to open. This uh, future contracts open 24 hours, but <clears throat> actually it's not it's 23 hours, but this is the most, most important two hours in the day. The market open from 9.30 a.m. Eastern time to 11.30 a.m. Eastern time. So starting from chapter nine, I need you guys to trade two hours every morning and try and start to practicing our our trading entries, trading points, and and <clears throat> and uh, for starting from chapter nine, the homework would be like uh, trading for two hours, and then by the end from Monday to Friday, and by by, by Friday you send us the five the past five days screenshots for what you did, and we mark it. <coughs> Same thing. So this is like our trading entry, number one, this is number two, this is number three, this is number four. And they can teach you how to market replay and then simulating. So all this, starting from chapter nine, like I said, you will start trading in a simulator every day, at least two hours a day. And then when you've done the future basics, you will learn like the basic stuff for entry points, how to enter the market. It's a very basic ones. And then when you're done, we will see if you are ready to go to the future intermediate. And then if you're ready, you will start to learn that the this is one of the most, most, I, I always say, I always name it money machines. This is one of the most uh, trade ideas you will find everywhere. Nobody will know. I actually, I, I made this once. This is very, very profitable strategies. So you're going to use my strategies, learn about them. Same thing start trading two hours a day every single day and then you go to chapter seven so we're gonna do that for, for, because of the in, future intermediate you will do the homework plus trading two hours every day so this is gonna be like lifetime <coughs> this is some work if you pass chapter 17 we go to chapter 18 and and so on and when you're done chapter 26 actually chapter 25 which is done everything we will be with you for at least four months or three months at least. Send so us a chart, and I will be with you once a week via Zoom meetings. I will post it here. Um, you will be you guys with me every week, specifically on Friday morning. Start of the, the market. I will start. I will making like the market review. I make actually two, two one live lesson in the morning with us, all of us. And then the other one is going to be like replay or review the market uh, by the end of the uh, the market day was like almost like 3 30 p.m 
and then we will start go from there. So this is not like a, um, a normal course, like you go to the, uh, like online and you take the lecture and you know, you sign with, no, this is a one-to-one -one coaching. Because I want to make sure everybody take this course is successful trader. And you will not trade with money until I said you, you can do it. You're not going to lose money, trust me, if you follow my steps. You will not lose money. You will make money. If, <clears throat> to, did, did all of my students make money? Not all of them. You know why? Because they don't listen. They take the, the, the uh, basic or maybe the intermediate future contract, future future course, and then they go, so, so I'm feeling good. I'm going to go trade money and they lose money because they don't listen to me. So if you want to take this course, it's a commitment. It's going to take at least five, six months. But trust me, trust me, if you follow my steps, if you do the homework, if you if you come to my, my review lessons, my life lessons every week, buddy, you will be successful. You will, you, will, you will eventually quit your nine to five job and make this the life you need, the life you dream. I'm I'm working like I can work from the beach. I can work. Yeah, it's it's a call, it's covenant, you know. But I work wherever I come from the couch or wherever. I don't need boss. <clears throat> you gotta live your life of your dream. So how much it cost? This this only the whole payment for this course is gonna be eighteen hundred, which one thousand eight hundred. And because I know not a lot of people have this money, so I can make it like six months uh, monthly installment. So all you need to do is go to this website here, cvacademy.com. As you know, I'm originally Egyptian, so like I said, I live, in, I live in Canada since 10 years, but I, so I have a lot of courses in, in, uh, in Arabic language, but this one is in English. So you're going to find this future day trading master in English, this English version. You press on it. And by the way, I give each one five days uh, free pass. So you can sign up, get your five days free pass, you're not going to see anything except like maybe our first three, because like I said, you cannot see the, the next one until, until you finish the, list, the first one. But you will still see through three lessons at least. Yeah. And then I'm going to sign out here for first. So you go here again, go future day trading master English version. You click it and then you see subscribe now. When you press subscribe. Let's say you enter your name and your last name and your email address, whatever it is. Say and put any email address here. Um, your password, one, two, three, four, whatever, a password, and then you press agree and then you press sign up. Email is invalid. Oh, yeah, yeah, I have to. Okay, yeah, I got it now. So sign up. I have to hit the password. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then I have read and then sign up. And then it goes to this option here subscription price, review every month starting from May 2nd. And then the total price today is zero because you, you, you're gonna be, yeah if you if you purchase now you're gonna be zero amount because they have five days and then after five days it will charge you to three hundred bucks and then you enter your card here let's say you enter your card number here and then you hit purchase and then you have this three uh, subscription uh, monthly subscription starting after five days and uh, also one thing I want to mention. Once you done the subscription, it will send me an email for your information, and then I will, you will, my team will send you uh, email, like welcome email, all the steps you need to do, all the um, the links for the trading platform, all the tools you need, uh, every the, the groups, the meetings of the Zoom meetings, the time, everything you need will be included in the welcome email. Right. I hope you guys enjoy this <laughs> very long lecture. Uh, and I wish everybody join me. I wish everybody not only join me. I wish everybody when you join me, they follow the steps. They're not like, you know what I mean? Don't get very excited and, oh, I'm going to make money now. No, just be patient. And always know trading is a marathon. If you take it step by step, if you take it easy, if you learn now, if you do it, if you do an account with the demo account, because I always say, if you don't make money on the demo account, you will never make money on the real account. So that's why I always trade with demo account before it goes to real money. Okay. Thank you. Thank, thank all of you. And uh, see you in our Academy DTVA. Thank you so much.